Here, these Black Lives Matter, Ranchers' Lives Matter, everybody's life matters. I mean, I mean, you know, that, that is that, true. But that, you guys are all airing everything on Pete, though, and that's what I don't understand. Airing everything on who's Keith? If I go on the live chat, it's all about Pete. Pete's life. Oh, Pete. Pete needs to get out. Uh, yeah, about the I bunny? know. Yeah, well, I mean, it's all you know, about... Let's be fair about it. If you're going to call the government hypocrites, then let's call everybody hypocrites. Because right. that's exactly what you're doing. Well, the reason that that... I, I think that came because I just had Deborah Jordan on here. Hey. No, 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 sir. I'm not talking just about your show, hon. Oh, I'm okay. talking about anything. Anything on the internet. You go to anybody's website. You go to any chat room. It's about Peter. Okay? Right. I understand he has a fan base, but you know what? I like the Bundy. I support the Bundy. I would like to know more about the Bundy. Not so much more about Pete. They're all about something, but they don't understand or something. Yeah, actually, you need to tune in. Okay, area code 208, I'm hanging up on you because you cannot seem to maintain your background noise. You're welcome to call back in and get back in line. Hello. All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, actually, you're going to hear all about the bunnies tomorrow because we will be live streaming, streaming not from the church, but from the funeral procession. And then tomorrow we will have interviews with all the bunnies family members, everything. So, you know, stay tuned tomorrow, okay? Okay, well, I thank you for covering that, too. Hey, no problem. I, have to, I really have to move on to the next call, ma'am. Thank you for your comments and, uh, you know, anytime, okay? Okay, bye. All right, goodbye. All right, who's next? Uh, area code 910. You're on there. Who that? Where you at? Hey. Hey. Hey, this is Break Ann. Ann. Okay. Okay. I just want to say, no thieves allowed rocks. Kevin rocks. And Pete's and Tilly is a dindu. Okay. Well, we all got our all opinion. Right. I, huh? I say we all got our opinion. I don't like Pete either, but, you know, I don't like his reporting style, but, you know, you still shouldn't throw press in jail. Mm. Well, he's got a history. Yeah, well, we all know that, but we understand that, but you know this isn't the Pete Santilli discussion show. I just brought Deborah so I could get an update. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you have a great night. You too, ma'am. You have a great night yourself. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. Uh, who's next? Area code two one three. You're next. Hey, how's it going? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay. Excellent. Uh, my name is Jeremy. I uh, I'm a listener and uh, and an occasional caller to Pete. And uh, really glad to hear Deb get on because, quite frankly, Deborah Jordan has been one of the most solid voices uh, over the last six weeks coming out of Oregon. Uh, generally, when she has something to say, it's relevant, it's concrete, she vets it, she's not a blowhard. Um, I think that the points that she made in that update were important. Uh, to the lady that just called that was concerned that we're not hearing enough about the fundies and too much peace, it doesn't matter that it's Pete Santilli. It matters that a member of the independent media was picked up and was lumped in to the same charges that the people that were occupying that refuge. Yeah, uh, and I and and I and listen. This is why this is a concern to me too, because I'm independent media and I'm paying money to send people to all these places, uh, and I don't want my people getting thrown into jail because uh, they broke, you know, they broke protocol. Exactly. Yeah, I, I agree. And and that is exactly what's taking place here. Why is he being charged the same way that the people that seized the refuge are? I mean, if if they want to say, like, if he was obstructing that night because he approached the roadblock, hey, he's being held. He's not even getting a chance to get bail. So, yes, I'm a Pete Santilli fan, and I understand the, that he's controversial and the whole thing. Like I said before. It is the, the story of Oregon is not about Pete Santilli. The, this, this, uh, this arrest is not necessarily about Pete Santilli. It's a member of the media in the United States of America that regardless of whether you like his style or not, he was a reporter on the ground. He tried to, and there were times where he couldn't exercise restraint and he let his commentary interject in, you know, normal Pete fashion. Well, you know, is, also remember that the story here is really about two men that don't deserve to be in prison for terrorism charges, the Hammonds, because that story has actually been lost in this. Well, absolutely. The Hammond story, I mean, of course, that's what birthed so much of this and what really was 
the the spark that lit the fire and got everybody out there and his and everybody has heard their story and and you know Pete uh, really uh, in his final broadcast uh, with like last two broadcasts I mean one of the things that he was saying was hey Harney hey Vern this is about you now this isn't about us this isn't about me this isn't about the Bundys this is about you guys and so. You know, that's what that's what this is all about. And but at the end of the day, remember that uh, the Ammon Bundy's alleged bodyguard who was armed was picked up and released. And a member of the media who was just trying to at, at one point just get women and kids out of that refuge. That's well, you know, honestly, like I up. said, like I said, this is not the Peace and Tilly show. But and I agree with everything you're saying. Uh, whether he was a heroic or not at the end, the point is, point blank, a uh, member of the independent media, whether they were activists or not, was put in jail. You know. Yeah. Hey, can I, uh, I let me you just know, say one more my, thing to you so you can get to – I know you want to get to other callers. But yeah, my, well, wanna, you know, the point me, I'm trying to make is my wife would never allow me out there. I'd be as freaking bunk maintenance from what I hear. The dude never shuts up. <laughs> well, let, me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me just say this. Thank you very much. Because even though this is exactly what he would be doing, if even if, if you you and him don't see eye to eye, if this was you in the position that he's in, he would be covering it and he would have your back. He doesn't like Alex Jones. Well, but if yeah. Alex Jones was in jail, he would be defending it. Well, you know, it's really funny. There, uh, the Pete Santilli shows mods have banned every one of my channels from saying anything in their chat, even when I'm doing this, when I'm just trying to give information. <laughs> Yeah, which is I, I totally disagree with, and there are times that I'm at odds with the mods there. Uh, I think that they, they exercise, get a little too uh, happy with uh, the authority and the ban hammer. Like, let free speech, let people talk, and let us just air out our opinions, and whether we're animated or whatever, not everybody's going to see eye to eye, yeah, and well, not all of us are, we're not all sick of fans. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, we're human beings and we're not all, and I understand that. You know, I spent many years of my life as under a, a different, uh, under a, a pseudonym as in the music business, and I understand, understand sycophants. Yes, <laughs> no doubt. And, right. and everybody and everybody has them, and um, I've had been at odds with Pete sometimes, but we do it respectfully. And like I said before, thank you very much for getting Deb on, allowing her on, and and just hosting open conversation. It's hey, very cool. It's very no, no problem. Apparently, you know, and apparently Deb can't even get her on her own channel at this point because they got her best up. But I got to move on to the next call, sir. Take it easy. All right, you have a great day. Okay, area code 208. 208, you're next on air. How are you today? Not too bad. And don't remember, we got Kevin on the air if you have any questions for him and, you know, general comments, et cetera. So. Perfect. You're, you're doing a great job on covering the story. I do appreciate it. No and, problem. But there's one thing everybody is forgetting about this. Everybody forgets, so like that guy said about the roots of it, is the, the, the monument movement. And as a lot of people for people forget about what's really going on with what the government is. Just like, for instance, recently I did some logging and the city didn't like what I did. So they came to my personal house and shut down my water because I had logged an area they didn't want. But I got permission to log, but then they didn't log. So the only thing I'm going to say is to people right now, if they're listening, this ain't, this is Russia. This ain't, this ain't America where you have the, have the, you know, <laughs> we don't have those rights no more. This is Russia. We are communists. No, actually, not communists. We're a socialist country, as well as, as well, what it is. No, this isn't Russia. So, this is this is Rome. What's the, that? The, w yeah. w this isn't Russia. This is the end of the Roman era. Yep, exactly. I agree. You know, and uh, if you look at Russia, they're they're uh, they're socialist. China socialist. We're socialists. That, that's all it is. I mean, <laughs> nothing we can do. I guess the FBI even said it right off the bat. Hey, if you stand up for your logging or mining or farming or, or uh, ranching rights, this is what we're going to do to you. Yeah. 